Okay, you guys, this is your Fire Stick customer service representative. I'm about to show you how to do the Fire Stick. First thing you do when you turn it on, this is what you should get. If not, hit the home button, and this is what you should get. That's providing, you set it up. Well, let's go over here to settings, and you go down, and there goes your Wi-Fi. You choose your right Wi-Fi, you put in your passcode, and then you're rocking and rolling. Then from here, you hit the home button. Home button takes you to here. You click the down button. So let me show you where that's at. The down button will be right here. Then this is going to be your up button, your right and your left. This is your home button. This is your back button. Fast forward, pause, play is down there and your rewind button or fast vice versa or whatever. And there's your microphone to speak and talk. If you don't like to type, you just click it and you hold it and you can type in what you want. So I'm gonna get right off into it. You come down three. So we're going up to home, now we're at home. So we come down one, two, three, until you see your apps and channels. The first one should be Cyberflix. Things have a way of changing. So just follow whatever app I'm on. So I'm going to click Cyberflix. Give Cyberflix a chance to load. When it loads up, it loads up on TV shows. So what you do is you come down, you pick whatever TV show you like. You come around, you got a variety of them. We're going to go up to, I'm going to choose The Rookie. I like The Rookie. Well, no, I'm going to choose Lethal Weapon. I like that too. So I'm going to click Lethal Weapon. We're going to come down, Lethal Weapon. Let's go to Season 3. Now, once you're here, now you have your episodes at the top. So let's pick season three, episode nine. Now it's underlined. You see the summary of it. We're going to go up to the play button that's in your top right corner. Let me adjust this to where you can see it a little better. That should work. We're going to click the play button. Now you let it scan for the different providers. Providers are the different outlets that are going to let you watch the show. Give it a second, and there we go. We have a few of them. So we're going to go down. I usually come down to the lower number. Um, usually guarantees a nice, clean stream. So we're going to click it. Once this starts, it starts to spin. That means the video is loading. Sometimes it might take too long. If it does, you hit the back button and you're able to try another one. But in this case, it started right up. So we're going to hit the back button, get on out of here. Back button, get out of here again. One more again. One more again. Now, if you see shows that you like, let's say you like The Rookie, you click it and you hold it, and then this comes up and you can add it to favorites. Let's say Big Bang Theory, click it. Hold it, you add it to favorites. Now, in order to get to the favorites, you can go up to the star right here, or you can go over to the hamburger. You click down, you hit favorites. There go the shows that we just put into favorites. So we're going to click the back button. Maybe some of you guys aren't interested in TV shows. So let's go up to the movies. No, nope, wait a minute. We're going to come back to that little bitty arrow next to trending. Now well, we got to... I see I need to do a little more work on here. Give me one second. Just hang in there right there. I'm not going to be trying to restart this every couple of minutes. So we're going to lock it in right there. Now, I see the little blue arrow. You click the blue arrow. You can change the different genres. Most popular. And as you see at the bottom, we got Netflix and Hulu. So everything that's on Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Showtime, CBS, NBC is on here. You just have to search for it sometime. So let's go up to the search. We're going to click the search button. Let's say you guys want to watch power. So we click, type in power. And we go down to next. There goes power over there. It says 2014. That's because it was when it started. And so you won't have to search for it again. You click it and you hold it and you add it to favorites. Now, if you was looking for a movie called Power, you would switch over to movies, and there goes other movies with the word Power in it. So now we're going to hit the back button. Now we're here. We're going to go over to the hamburger, click the hamburger, go down to movies, 
click movies. Now we're into the movies. So these are all the different movies that you can watch. Even if it's a Netflix movie, whatever movie, a Hulu movie, it's here. So let's say we wanted to watch Bird Box. Very popular movie. I didn't get the ending. I like to know what happened, but we're going to go up and hit the play button. Don't let it scan for the different providers, just like we did in the TV show. I need to get me another phone so I can play music like Jeopardy right now. All right, is it looking like it's not giving us any providers? Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. So we're going to come down. Like I say, I always like to go to the smaller one. I'm going to click. And we're going to let it load. Like I said, if it takes too long to load, you hit the back button. You try another provider. We're going to give it a little patience and let it load, though. There we go. Once it stops, you know something's about to happen. And here we go. All right, just to let you know it wasn't just a Netflix advertising. Click the back button, we click the back button, click the back button, click it again and again. Now we're out of there. So that's how you work Cyberflix. Cinema is very similar, so we're not gonna go into full detail, but I will go through it to show you the basic differences. Now, when this one opens up, it also looks like it's opening up on TV shows. Usually opens up on movies, maybe because I opened it already. Um, but let's say we're going to watch uh, the movie. Hey, there goes the rookie. We're going to click and watch the rookie. Rookie's got one season. So we click the season. It's going to give you all the episodes. It's going to tell you what they're about. And also... Um, the date that it came out, you click onto the episode, you're going to get your providers as always, you pick one and you go for it. Now we're going to go into movies because movies is slightly different. So we're going to hit the hamburger, we're going to go over to movies, click the movies. Now for some reason this is stuck on Christmas movies so we're going to change that to popular. Now we have the most popular movies. So let's say you wanted to watch um, the new Deadpool, Once Upon a Deadpool. Click it. Now you see the blue spinner at the top. What that doing is searching for the best provider. Once it turns into a play button, it's ready to go. Uh, but also, do not download. Download takes you to another scene. You don't want to do that. We go down. You got more providers down there just in case the, the top one that you tried to hit doesn't work. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and click it. See what happens. Pay attention. It's spinning. And it looks like it's starting up for us. There we go. We hit the back button. Hit the back button. Um, we're going to go in just one more. I don't know where I'm at. Where am I at? There we go. Let's say Black Panther. You can also go down and hit the heart. If you click the heart, that puts it in favorites. That way you don't have to look for it no more. Then you go to your favorites just like in the other app and you're good. So I'm going to hit the back button and come out all the way out. Yes for out. We're going over to a new one called Jetbox. Jetbox is the same, but also different. It's actually more of a difference. So to, let's give the pictures time to load up. So let's say we want to watch um, A Star is Born. Let's go to A Star is Born. We click it. We let it completely load. And once it stops spinning, now we go down to Find Sources. So we're going to find sources that are going to enable us to be able to play this show, this movie. You're going to let it go. Keep it going. That's why I put a um, variety of different apps to do the same thing. In case something's not working or something doesn't show up, 
we can always go find it in another app. This one's taking a little bit too long for my comfort. Give it five, four, three, two, back button. Let's go to another one. Let's go down to Unbreakable. Somebody just asked me about that movie yesterday. Well, we're gonna let it load. There we go, we're gonna go down to find sources. And maybe this app is in update mode. Up oh, there we go, we got sources coming up. So you go down and you pick one of the sources. And you can either hit play with another player or just hit play. Let's say play with another player. I always like using the MX player. So we're going to click the MX player. And that's going to take it on into Breakable. So the movie is a pretty good movie. I don't know if you guys have seen it. We're going to hit the back button. Hit the back button. We're going to go up to the hamburger. Click on the hamburger. Down to TV shows. Yeah, on the TV show, you see, we got basically the same stuff. So you just pick an app that's good for you. If something's acting funny with it, then you go into the next app. But let's see if this one plays the same. So let's click Lethal Weapon. There we go. It's loading. Oh, there we go. We hit episodes. And now we got all the different episodes. So pretty sure you click an episode, it proceeds to play. So we're going to hit the back button. Hit the back button. We're out of there. It's going to UK. UK is pretty quick and easy. Um, UK is the movies. If the movie is out on the on 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 the internet, it's in this app. So let's say we want to go and maybe watch Aquaman. So we're gonna click Aquaman, and it's just that simple. You click it, and now it starts. But of course, that's too small. So let's go over to full screen we click full screen there we go so we're going to hit the back button hit the back button hit the back button we're out of there now we're going to go to the next one which is one box one box is really cool because one box only shows the studio movies but the thing about one box you have to kind of feel around to get the movie to play so let's let it load and i'll give you an idea of what i'm talking about Everybody having a happy new year? It's um, what, mid-January when I'm making this video? Waiting on one box to load. I wish I could pause it and skip to the loaded part, but. Okay, maybe low, one box is having some type of technical difficulties. We will return to this, and I'm sure in the middle of my presentation, it's going to open up. So I'm going to hit the back button. We're going to come out of there. Next, we're going to jump into live TV. You have Mob Joel, you have TV Tap, you have Free Flix TV, and you also have Live Net TV. This right here is something new that Amazon has introduced, so... You're able to watch TV in there also. We're going to come back. We're going to go to Mob Joe. Okay, there goes one box. See, I told you it was going to jump in in the middle of me doing what I'm doing. But this time, I'm not going to let it interrupt me because I knew it was going to do that. It usually loads a lot faster than this. I'm going to have to look into this. I'm not going to have the patience, though, so I'm going to exit. And now we're back in the mob draw. And just in case you forgot where we was at, we was at this one right here. So we're going to click it. We're going on in. You have channels, news, shows, movies, um, sports. You can go all the way across, even the spiritual. Have you and yours found Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior? Well, if not, it might be in here. So we're going to go back to uh, channels. We're going to click your channels. You got ABC, you have access to all the networks. Spike, you can just kind of look at it, click on them. I would say 90% of them work 90% of the time. That's why I put a multitude of apps to do the same thing. 
okay something isn't working you can try something else so while we're down here let's um let's try showtime we're going to click showtime usa see what it does you let it load there it go but this one doesn't look like it has any sound so every blue moon you might get something that isn't working properly in that case we got that so we're going to try cinemax Bernie. When it first started, it has a tendency to um, buffer, but once the flow gets going, going there you go. So we're going to hit the back button, hit the back button, go over the news. We're going to jump in, show you that you have access to all the news stations all across the world. More news than you need to know what's going on. So I'm going to hit the back button. Over the shows. Shows is very interesting. These are what you call 24-7 TV. So if you see one of these shows and you like them and you click on it, it's going to play the show all day uh, with no commercials, back to back, episode after episode. We're going to click that. We're going to come over to movies. And movies, these are not the movies that you would see, those pictures. Those are it's just the genre. So if you wanted comedy or horror or action or animation, you got Star Trek versus Star Wars. You go down, you got your Christmas, monster movies, westerns, mafia. Let's say you wanted to watch a mafia movie. You don't care which one it is. You just turn it on as this is live TV. So it's going to play whatever's on right now. I'm going to give it a second. Let it go. There we go. You have to figure out what movie it is. Sit back and enjoy it. Once it goes off, another movie comes on. I can't to up. So I'm going to hit the back button, hit the back button, and you got your sports apps. These are all the different sports networks. You got ESPN all the way up to news. You got wrestling. You got your Pac-12 channel. You got your NBA channel. There's an NFL and a um, Major League Baseball channel. You got your boxing network. You got a variety of different things here. You just got to click through them, see what's on them, or when what's on them. Or you can ask Siri. Siri can usually tell you stuff. I'm going to hit the back button. Uh, we already, you can go through those and play with them as you like. Now I'm going to jump over to TV Tap. TV Tap is kind of the same. It doesn't have the extras. It's just straight up networks. We're going to hit this and double click. That's done. Okay, now with this, you have all your different networks. There goes your ABC, your Animal Planet, you know, variety. What makes this one kind of different than Mob Draw? Let's say, let me find something we like here. Um, what would you pass? There we go. Let's go into BET. We're going to open BET. We might not open BET. BET acts funny in this one, but it plays fine in Mob Draw, and it plays fine in the other other ones we're going to get to. Here goes Bravo. Look. Good, you from get togethers, especially and of course, that isn't big enough really where you can hit your full screen. But you can also, if you like the channel, you can add it to your favorites. So if you go through this and add everything that you like to your favorites, then all you have to do is go to your favorites and all the apps that you like is right there. Next one we're going to go into is Free Flix. Free Flix TV. This is live TV. This has a lot of stuff and they're still working on it, adding more stuff and making what you have better than Uh, we just hit later. Now, with this, you go to watch now. So we're going to hit watch now. Um, you have a variety of different stuff. We're going to start with the IPTV1. Now, as you see, this has a whole lot of channels, a whole lot of stuff. You know, we can go down. You can go across to the different countries. You actually... You got sports, you got a variety of different stuff up in here. We're going to go, let's go to BET though. We didn't have it working last time, so let's see what it does for us in here. There we go. BET works fine over here. That's why I put a variety of apps so you can constantly get what you want. So I'm hitting the back button, I'm exiting, I'm hitting yes. It should be out of there. There we go. Now, as you see over here, we do have all the sports stations combined into one. So you got some, I think I see some golf. You got a variety of different stuff. You just 
click through it. A lot of people ask about the pay-per-view, the pay-per-view events. They're in here somewhere. Um, they all constantly bounce around. They're like playing whack-a-mole, but they can get found. So just ask around or look around. You'll find it. I'm going to hit the back button. I'm coming out of there. I'm going to go over to IPTV. Each one of these has American channels, but this one right here has the Latino channels and Spanish channels. So I have a lot of Latino and Spanish um, customers, and they really be interested in stuff like this in India and Pakistan also. It has a lot of stuff in this app. So we're going to come, come on out, all the way out, and we're out. We're going into Live TV Net. Let's click that one there. I'm going to let it load. It's a pretty vast app, so it takes a second to load. Okay, we're in there. Now, you don't see United States across the top, but if you come down into the belly, and as you move on in, you got the United States channels down up in here. You're able to click on them enjoy if you wanted the news you got news you come down to united states or international you also got movies and you got other countries you have a variety of different stuff uh, i'm not going to go into it all if you got any questions just watch the video again i'm hit the back button that goes the free drive i'm just going to open this up it should be pretty explanatory you got the different genres of movies that you want to watch or TV shows that say you wanted to watch. Uh, there we go. Nine lives. I'm going to click nine lives. It says watch now. Wait a minute. There it go. Watch now for free. And we click it. Welcome to IMDb Free Dive. And it explains itself. And, TV. and then the show starts. So we're not going to wait. You can try it out. If you like it, enjoy it. If you don't like it, it's on you. We're gonna go on the internet. Now, this is really cool, because once you open the internet, top, this one's going straight to YouTube. So I'm gonna hit the back button. I want out of YouTube for now. Don't want to exit Silk. Oh, we're going back into there. I hit the wrong button. Let's see where it goes now, okay. Right here. You see the hamburger? That controls this app. So I click the hamburger. Now, up here, where you see the out the magnifying glass, you can click. You can type in any website that you would like to go to. Down here, there's pre-recorded, preset websites. You got Amazon, you got YouTube, and you got this one called Gears with Goals, which is a t-shirt um, website, which is pretty cool. You might want to check that out. So I'm gonna hit the back button. That should take me out of here. I'm trying to get out of here back. I'm hitting exit. And there we go. We're going into the coin. The coin gets you to the extra special stuff. That's your triple X. You got sports and some of the later um, coin apps you have a little bit more. This here has been coming up lately. Just hit the back button, it disappears. But you got sports. It also would have TV shows and um, international channels. But the main reason people go here is for this. That's your 18 and over, but you must punch in the password. I'm not gonna do the password now. If you need the password, then you contact me. If you have one of these, you should have the password. And that takes you into the triple X. I'm hitting the back button. Actually, I'm hitting the home button. It's taking me out of there. I'm going across. To the sports. Now, this is what I've been trying to get to. These are the live games. NBA, NFL, and also I have the college football. But you can only um, configure these to where they can play when there's a game on. So, I noticed earlier there was a game on, so I didn't configure this until I made this video. So, we're going to let it load. And if all goes well, I'm able to videotape it being configured, that should help everybody out. Okay, there we go, we got games on. You see where it says M3? Those M3s, those are things you can play. You can't click one of those buttons without having a cursor, without having access to the mouse. 
And the way to get your mouse is your pause play button right here. You double click it, you go boom, boom. And as you can see right here, when I did that, that added that cursor. Now we're gonna go up to one of the M's. So sometime it'll be M3, it might be MX, because it wants you to choose the MX player. So I'm gonna click that. Now I gotta come over and choose MX player, but I can't do that with the mouse. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click the pause play button once. And when I try to move it, the mouse disappears and now I can control it. So I'm gonna hit MX Player Pro. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna hit Always, and we are in. Play the Let it load, right, play and the there we go. We okay, so I'm gonna hit the back button. And now if you were to click that again, you would go straight into the game. You don't have to configure it no more. You do the pause play button. One, two. Sometime it comes up right away. You got to do it right, though. There it go. And then you click on up in there, and you got your game on. So we're going to click the back button. I'm going into NFL. And I'm not sure if any games are on. I'm not a big sports buff like you guys. Let's let it load. Here it comes. Okay, as you can see, we have no games on. Um, but it shows that there's a game coming on on the 20th. Um, it shows when the next games are being played. So when there's physically a game on, all you have to do is configure it one time, just like I showed you in the basketball, and you can watch any um, NFL, any NBA, and any college basketball, I mean college football. I'm working on a college basketball app, but any college football game that's on. So all you have to do is configure it and know to turn your mouse on. So you double click the pause play button so you can click one of those blues. And there goes your cursor. But nothing's on right now, so I'm not even gonna do that. So I'm gonna click it once, move down, that gets rid of the mouse. I'm hitting the back button to get me out of the app. Now I'm going to see all. See all is where we have even more apps. Like I say, I put a multitude of stuff in here so that if something goes out, you always have a fallback app to get on. So you're never without entertainment. I'm going to get into Cody in a second, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more movie apps that you're able to use. One, two, three, four. I think this is a movie app. Let me click my hold. I'll put that up there. So you got one, two, three more live TV apps. And the rest of this stuff, you really don't need to worry about unless you like to travel. If you like to travel, you click that and watch that video. And that should um, get you traveling um, really good. I'm going to go over here to Cody. So this is going to be the last thing I do. I'm opening up the Cody. Cody is vast. When Cody hasn't been open in a while, it has to load. So a lot of people complain that their Cody doesn't work right or it's slow. That's because when you open it, you got to give it a couple of minutes and let it load. It has a lot of stuff in here. Just like everything I just showed you is all wrapped up in Cody. Okay, this is what my Cody looks like. You got the collections, you got more, you got TV shows, movies, music, stuff for the kids. It's just got a lot of stuff. I really don't go into this, but since I was able to get this far, I might as well, you know, let it go. Let's say we click movies. See, I mean, that says error, but that doesn't mean anything. The code is Cody hasn't been started yet, so it's the first time that it's been started. So it starts to load, it starts to buffer. Don't let that scare you. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button, hit the back button again. Um, you can play with that at your own leisure. It's still loading because it's the first time. So that's gonna conclude what we got going on on the fire stick. Hopefully it helps you out. Hopefully you can enjoy it. Get in contact with me if you got any questions and enjoy your experience. Bye-bye.